Okay, number 23. Um, this is given a matrix, uh, uh, two by two. Um, we want to find its inverse. So let's first look at it the easy way on the calculator, and then uh, I'll do it by hand. Okay, so first thing we want to do is we want to go to input our matrix. So I'm going to go into a second, x to negative 1, left arrow over to edit, and A is already highlighted, so I press enter on it. And it was a 2 by 2. This is rows by columns, so 2 enter and 2 enter. And we got 5 enter, 1 enter, negative 2 enter, and 3 enter. And then I want to exit out, so I do a second mode. Now I want to go back. This is, this is the actual, that's just the entry part. You want to make sure you exit out, so you do a second mode. Now let's go ahead and find our inverse. So I'll go second, x and negative 1. Now we're under names, a is already highlighted, so we'll press enter on a. I usually refer to this as the x to negative 1 button in the class, just because students click better with it. But this is actually the inverse button. And if I click that, it puts the negative 1 there. Now putting caret negative 1 will not always work. On some models of the calculator will, some won't. Um, so make sure you just put use this one. Then I push enter. Now usually you'll get some kind of decimals. Now one thing I especially want to point out here, see these th three little dots over on the far right hand side? That means there's more to the right you can't see. To see that you have to right arrow over to the right. And then to go back you just push your left arrow. But we got decimals, we don't want decimals. Uh, so we're going to change it to fraction by doing math, enter, enter. And 3 seventeenths, negative 1 seventeenth, 2 seventeenths, 5 seventeenths would be E. So 23E. And it checks. Okay, now let's look at it by hand. Fun stuff. Must be I'm doing it on a Friday night. <laughs> Either that or I'm an extremely boring person. Okay, so we got A is equal to 5, 1, negative 2, and 3. Now, this is a 2 by 2. What we do is we put our matrix down again, like this. And right beside it, we put uh, this, this right here. It's a square matrix, and it's a diagonal 1, 0, 0, or else. Now our goal, uh, when doing this by hand, there's a shortcut to this also, but I'm just showing you this this, this step and this problem. Uh, our goal is to get the diagonal 1s and zeros over on this side. So that's going to be what we're going to work toward. First thing I want is I want a 1 here. Well, I'm going to uh, take row 1, divide by 5, and that's going to give me my new row 1. Well, 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1 divided by 5 is 1 fifth. Uh, 1 divided by 5 is 1 fifth. And 0 divided by 5 is 0. Like that. Now our next step is to get a 0 in this spot. So you think, what do you multiply times the first row that you can then add to this to get a 0 here? Well, if I multiply this first entry here by 2, 1 times 2 is 2, and if I add it to the negative 2, I'd get a 0. So we're going to take 2 times row 1, and we'll add that to row 2, and that gives us our new row 2. Now, we don't, we don't actually touch row 1 at all. It stays as is. There we go. Okay, so 2 times 1 gives us 2, plus a negative 2 gives us 0. 2 times 1 fifth um, gives us 2 fifths plus 3, um, 17 fifths. Let me, let me think that through. <laughs> um, okay, two, that's 2 fifths, 15, 17 fifths, okay, yeah. Okay, and then 2 fifths times 1 fifth gives us 2 fifths plus 0. That's easier. 2 fifths. And 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. Now our goal at this point is to get a 1 right here. Well, uh, we can multiply uh, a row by a number. So we're going to take row 2 
and we're going to multiply it times 5 to give us our new row 2. So first row remains as is. Uh, 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 17 fifths, the 5's the cancel. 5 times 2 fifths, the 5's cancel. And 5 times 1 gives us 5. Now it's going to be a lot easier for us to get 1 here. So we're going to take our row 2, oops, our row 2 divided by 17, and that's going to give us our new row 2. First row still doesn't change. Um, 0 divided by 17 is 0. 17 divided by 17 is 1. 2 divided by 17 is 2 17 5 divided by 17 is 5 17 Last thing, we need to get a 0 here. So I think, what do I multiply times uh, row 2? Specifically, I look at this 1. What do I multiply times that 1 that then added to the 1 fifth will give me a 0 there? Well, that'd be a negative one fifth. So if I take negative one fifth times row two and I add it to row one, that's going to give us our new row one. Okay, this doesn't change. It would be a miracle if I didn't make a math error on this. <laughs> negative one fifth times zero, zero plus uh, one gives us one. Negative one fifth uh, times one gives us negative one fifth plus one fifth gives us zero. Negative one fifth, um, negative one fifth times two seventeenths plus one fifth. That gives us negative two um, five three eighty five plus common denominator. That goes in there. 85. That goes near one time. Why well, I'm not using my calculator, I don't know. 17, 17, so it gives us 15, 80 fifths, which reduces to 3, um, 3 seventeenths. Uh, I don't know. Let me, let me uh, cheat. <laughs> Use my calculator. Okay, negative 1 divided by 5, uh, 2 divided by 17, plus 1 divided by 5, inner, math, inner, inner. 3 seventeenths. Oh, yeah, that's what I got. Okay. And I doubted myself. Okay. Negative 1 fifth um, times 5 seventeenths gives us negative 1 seventeenth plus 0 gives us negative 1 seventeenth. Now, notice. We started out with the uh, diagonal of ones here, zeros everywhere else, and we moved it over to here. So our answer will be this right here, assuming I did all my math right. So um, what did we get over here? 3 seventeenths, negative 1 seventeenths, 2 seventeenths, and 5 seventeenths. So it checks uh, what we did with the calculator.